First of all, I want to talk about how unflattering these wigs are. behind this wig that I don't even know how to put and you see like all these models putting them and they're they put it so easily um when my mom was diagnosed with cancer and they told her that she had to get chemo she was gonna lose her hair so she went and got a wig and she was not happy about it she um she like felt kind of awkward that people were gonna know that it's a wig and kind of judge her so I went and got this wig from Bella Me. This is not easy to put and every time that I put it I look ridiculous like should I just do this video like this? I mean I've been dying to wear it but I just look ridiculous like I feel like I cannot go out in the street like this and then you see my hair in the back <laughs> so I obviously don't know how to do it. <gasps> oh, enough with the wig. So what the real reason why you guys are here is because I've got my fitness favorite for January. I think I'm gonna start doing this series on my YouTube, um, fitness favorites. I'm gonna do it every single month. Um, hopefully I'll have enough to show you guys. Um, I feel like this month, now that I look at all this stuff, it's basically food. My fitness has to do with food, right? Like it goes hand in hand, right? Something non-food. I actually found this through my coach, um, uh, Mishka, well, her name is Amber Dawn, but on Instagram it's Mishka Dawn. She is always writing about the five minute journal. I love this journal because I recently just got it um, and so far I've been loving it because it's easy to write in five minutes a day and you really do start your day in a so much better mood and like it's just this whole other energy which I think is very important um, like to just be on an up note and a positivity to have a wonderful, wonderful day. So this is something that I really like. It's the five minute journal. And look at this pen. It's so cute. This was Amazon. I will write the link in the um, description box below for all these things. Just hopefully I'll remember. Uh, I know you probably have seen me talk about this before, but these straps, amazing amazing straps and i think it's very important for you to have your own when you go to the gym number one because a lot of gyms don't have like the other day i went to a ufit and they didn't have this and i couldn't really do my kickbacks because for whatever reason i've seen girls that they're able to do it but my foot um first of all after i fell my ankle has never been the same so it just I can't feel it in my glutes. I feel it everywhere else when I just use that regular strap. So this is the way to go. You're gonna feel it so much in your glutes. You could do like side abductions, um, kickbacks, everything. If I find the link, I'll put it in the description below. And honestly, I think it's also like a hygiene thing. It's a good to not have everyone sweat on it. So very important. I always keep this in my gym bag. Another thing. Um, this has two. I didn't just buy one. Like my other one is over there in my home gym for purposes of this video I just got one so I call them monkey straps I think they have like they're called ab straps um you kind of just put this you know how the cable machine sometimes has like these two handles where you can put them on this or if not this comes loose and then you can clip it I don't know if you can see, but you can clip it on um perfect to do abs it's really what i use it for to do abs i don't know if there's anything else you can do with it you put your your arm through here and then you hold it on and then you do your abs oh and this is a valio valeo back when it was miami swimsuit week i went to a boxing event for this um group called rvca it's a clothing um company uh, so they have this tagged here, but this water bottle is from Hydroflask. I had no idea until the other day that I was like, hmm, I think this is Hydroflask, which is amazing because I actually want to get the attachment that has the, the straw because it's so much easier because I don't know about you guys, but when I drink water, it just spills everywhere and I make a mess. I'm clumsy. First NHL game, but... Oh, no, it's because she said it's just not his day. Look at his teeth. So I can't wait to get that little attachment. It keeps it cold for 24 hours. 
which is very important and it's easy because I've had like really huge ones that are 40 ounces and it doesn't fit in my cup holder in the car so it has to go like on the seat it's like moving everywhere when you move the car it's a pain this is easy putting your purse anywhere really really good all right on to food stuff so I know that I'm late in the game with this nutritional yeast uh -huh. But I, this is new to me. I was at Trader Joe's and I saw this and um, I wanted to try it. I've heard about it, but I have never tried it. And it's got like a kind of a cheesy taste to it, but not really. Um, and it's just really good because it's it's got so many vitamins. It's amazing for you. It's really, really good for you. It's got good macros. Um, it's good to put on vegetables, it says, baked potatoes, eggs your yogurt so nutritional yeast guys it's got protein in it as well carbs are low no fat really good for one tablespoon it's 20 calories so good stuff second hemp seed something else that is, i'm late to the game in but i had never tried um this is also from trader joe's i love trader joe's this is awesome it's got protein it's got all types of omega-3 omega-6 it says refrigerate after opening and I haven't refrigerated it. Does that mean that it's gonna go bad? If you know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, that might be a problem. On to the next, Pro Granola. Now, I am a granola fanatic. Um, obviously, because if I love oatmeal, I love granola. But, I don't know about you, but a lot of these granolas that are like at Publix and stuff have so much crap in it that it's it's bad for you. It's like honestly like having a candy. So I found this. It's from Julian Bakery, um, Paleo. Um, it's low in carbs. It's gluten free, grain free. Which if you also my other video, you know that you're gross. Gluten free for the next two weeks. Uh, soy free, which is important because as women we do not want soy. Than boobies. Again, macros are good on this. Um, dairy free. It's keto friendly if you're into that. So I've been using this. I got it off Amazon. Pro granola. So good. Um, not as good as you know the Nature Valley because obviously that's a candy. It's not as sweet, but it's still good and. Um, your taste buds get acquired to it. It's not that it's awful, like, hold on. It's not awful, but I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I'm having like the best granola ever. No, it's like, it's good, it's good for you, but it doesn't taste as wonderful as like those commercial granolas. But, all right, I love these biatches. I actually bought on Amazon, they have three that come. In a package they also sell this at my Publix I saw this the other day um, I think Target and I know Whole Foods has it for sure uh, Simply Meal Simply Mills this is a pumpkin muffin um, and bread it's an almond flour mix so if you saw my other video you would know I can't eat these right now um, but they also have cookies they've also got chocolate muffins so 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 good um, Basically, all the ingredients that it has is almond flour, organic coconut sugar, pumpkin, arrowroot, organic coconut flour, organic spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, baking soda, and sea salt. So it's blue. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> it's paleo friendly, soy free, dairy free, gum free. It's really easy to make as well. Um, like honestly, it takes three eggs, water, and coconut oil. That's it. You put it together and you put it in a muffin tin, muffin baking thing. I just put it in there for 350 for I think it's 25 minutes and that's it and um, I do add which is my other thing is this amped protein um, two scoops of this just to get my protein up because it doesn't have it only has two grams of protein for one muffin um, so that way it has it gets me it gets the protein up and this is perfect for like on the go breakfast with coffee super good I suggest you get these like now um, so then this amped protein, a little disclaimer or a little info about me. I don't like vegetables. I know, I know. I'm a personal trainer that doesn't like vegetables. What's wrong with me? But I'm not a huge fan of vegetables. Not gonna lie. 
Um, so because of that, I feel like I didn't like the plant-based protein powders. I tried the one, I think it's called Raw, once um, from Whole Foods. I pretty much threw up in my mouth. I have to say that this is good. You know, I'm not gonna say, oh my God, this is the best tasting protein powder that I've ever tasted because that would be a lie and I'm all about being honest with you. However, for being a plant-based protein, I think it's very good. And why am I plant-based now? Again, I'm not vegan or vegetarian. Um, I can't have any dairy products. I kind of just wanted to try it out once and see like, hey, whatever. Kevin says that I just like to spend money, which is true. I think I do. <laughs> but um, this is already my third package that uh, I've ordered from them. So I think it's here to stay. All right. This I kind of just found, which look, I have $1.50. Found these the other day at Whole Foods um, when I was trying to look for stuff since I'm like dairy free, everything free now um, for these two weeks. So I do have a huge sweet tooth. Um, so I just wanted to give these a try. And they are pretty good. I honestly, they don't taste like if they were not the real, you know, chocolate chip that we're all used to. Um, again, it's gluten and wheat, peanuts, nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfites, lupin, mustard, fish, shellfish, crustaceans. It's free of all the fat. You're probably thinking that must taste like royal ass. It's not bad at all. So if you have like some type of intolerance or you're just looking for, you know, um, something different to try these are good enjoy life also i have gotten a lot of their stuff because enjoy life basically they don't add like all that other crap that some other products do they're very you know um organic and to the point with their ingredients oh look it's got rosemary extract um so i like that can you have the tv any louder last thing I love this. You've probably seen me. I've done a blog post on this. I've taken pictures with this on my other video. I was drinking it. Like this guy and me, we are one. Just matcha green tea. I don't drink green tea unless I make it or Coco Michelle makes it. That's it. So convenient. It comes in one of these little packs. So it's perfect. Like you already know this is one serving. Um, that's all you gotta do. Um, I basically put pumpkin uh, pie spice, ginger, oat milk, and the coconut butter. Not the coconut oil, the coconut nut butter. And some stevia, and that's it. Voila, you're done. You could add honey. I personally hate honey. Um, so good though. This I don't know if it's like the way that I make it or if it's this precisely, but it's good. I like it. And like I said in my other video, I'm trying to get away from coffee even though Anyways, um, I don't know if you guys can hear me over the loudness that's going on over there, but um, I'll let you guys go because I feel like this video has been so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed my products, and I'll see you next month for February's 